You guys like Melanie Mac? Everyone's like, oh, I'd like that mac and cheese. So let's go take a peek. Dude, how are you getting so to season two? Lara Croft completely unrecognizable and turning her into a large lesbian has proved to be a flop and to receive. I'm not going to lie. The way that Melanie Mac talks is funny. I'm not saying like her, her herself. I'm just mean like some of the shit that she says, like like the title, like a big backed lesbian and shit. That's funny. Eva, low viewership. However, one thing that it did do was get two seasons on Netflix because Netflix has revealed season two is on the way. And obviously not for the reasons that you think. Because Very we nasally. Saw the That's numbers. all of them, dude. It wasn't based on performance. Why do I look darker in my camera? But you know, Netflix is all about this. They I like updated this. my camera. So just it's like, like Velma, we have I another swear season I'm, I'm where we Don't can laugh me. at this before it meets its inevitable demise. Let's go ahead and dive into this video. So just to show this first, because for some reason, the fans of this show, yes, all 12 of them, are trying to brag as if Power this season two is because this show was some sort of success, which... Again, they're not really rooted in reality. They don't know uh, the difference between I a see man a and a woman, first of all. And they don't know the obvious fact that there are only two genders. So, of course, they have to make up. Uh oh, you other can't say that. And this being one of them. Uh, we already saw that it failed to chart at the top 10, uh, losing even to reruns <laughs> on Netflix. Uh, so, we know the numbers were not good. And even. The Critical Drinkers video. I mean, judging by the numbers that we received, the Critical Drinkers video dunking on how hilariously bad this is got more views than the actual show on Netflix. Okay? I mean, at best. Here it is sitting at 1.5 million views. So judging by the numbers from the top 10 and the fact that Tomb That's Raider, really good if that's the case. So Netflix's Tomb Raider didn't even chart. We know at best they met that number but most likely didn't even meet that number because the 10th place slot was barely above it. So just saying, just saying. Now let's go ahead and uh, take a look back at this article that says Tomb Raider, the animated series renewed for season two at Netflix. Now this was revealed in June of 2023. So what? Uh, no, this isn't some, you know, it's being framed on the way that it's being presented and stuff sounds like, hey guys, guess what? Since season two went so great, we're getting, or since season one since it went so great, we're getting a season two. That's the way to announce it. That's the way to try to clean up and try to clean up for the brand's sake because this was a colossal embarrassment for Tomb Raider and Crystal Dynamics and that. I gotta say, I'm so happy that this stuff is growing this way and there's so many more YouTube creators. That's why I would say, I would even encourage you guys as well to get in on the action, man. It, today, it's it's like the season for planting videos, talking shit about these stupid people that make these dumb shows or comics or movies or video games. We need more people speaking out against this stuff. This is why they absolutely hate it. They cannot stand YouTubers and, and, and more independent thinkers that are going to be calling this shit out. This is why they always want to control the narrative with like, oh, we'll... Uh, we're we're a game journalist, or we're 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 writing articles on this stuff, and it's probably like half of it's AI, half of it's shit. Nobody reads it, nobody cares about any of it. But they'll watch these YouTube videos. I'll tell you that they, they at least there's like an army of us versus like a small group of them, and they hate it. The only difference though is they got a lot of money that backs them because there's social engineering that goes in with it. Flicks. Uh, so they had to try to clean that up. Of course, um, on they the renew animated Netflix series account, automatically. What's up, Josiah? Kind of hilarious. Um, so anyway, this. And Kuti, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Gatwa also has joined the cast. So that's, I always have, I also have more to say about that. If you don't know, he's the one who ran a Doctor Who to the ground. So he also will be running, contributing to running Tomb Raider to the ground as well. So anyway, this is old news. We knew this was going to happen. Let's go ahead and actually <laughs> take a look at what we know thus far. Okay, so yeah. What the hell is this? This is who uh, he will be having a role. And I'm like, what the heck? They already have. They already made Zip gay in the show. They made him flaming gay. So what are their plans with this guy? Are they going to to 
take back Carter Bell and make him gay as well? <laughs> it's like so what stupid. What is the plan? Of course, you got to sissify the black men for the modern audience. So anyway, here's what we've got. They said more students, <laughs> more rating, more Lara. I didn't see any actual tomb rating in the little snippets I saw. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Remember, they're lesbians. So they're rating different tombs now. Okay. They're, they're rating Taco Bell. That's what they're rating right now. Is that a chalupa I smell? Ah, they call me the Tomb Raider. Uh, you know what I'm saying, man? Uh, it just looked like a bunch of Lara Croft crying. Lara Croft, Large Croft, Larry Croft crying. Um. So anyway, here we have Sam from the 2013 reboot that whole story was lame but i digress sam is back uh but not only is she back but she's big backed <laughs> big back gorilla um, so i made this tweet as a cute best friends turned into big back lesbians by the look of it they can't even stay consistent with their own tomb raider reboot laura so you know no they do this every single time chat give me a one if you're sick of this shit how you can't even have friends no more if anybody was a friend and they, they updated, right? Now you got to be either gay or you're lesbian. Give me a one if you're sick of this shit. Every time, you, there's, friends are just not allowed. They always got to take their own sexual, abominable desires and inject it into this shit. Every time, it's like, stop. Quit it. You do you, you not have friends. Is this how you view your friends? Well, I'd like to, you know, love, rub my chalupa against her chalupa. Shut up! You're crazy! Well, here's how we have what they looked like in the 2013 rebooted game. And then this is what we're getting now. So, dude, they take, like, Sam, she was this petite, you know, cute Asian girl. And very more, like, extroverted, bubbly. And that was the dynamic with Lara Croft and Sam. Now, I don't even like... I don't like the idea of giving Lara Croft a bunch of friends and stuff, so I'm not even a fan of the 2013 plot, but here you have me defending it, which is hilarious. I'm in a position right now as somebody who is a hardcore classic stan, someone who says, you know what, nothing else exists except for the classics one through six. Even it's so, you got me defending Tomb Raider 2013, principle. and you even got me yeah. thinking, huh, maybe it, maybe it wasn't as bad as I've been saying, <laughs> because when you see it get worse, it's like, huh, Grant. It's the contrast principle, as I've said plenty of times before. It's such a powerful thing psychologically. If I gave you a stale sandwich and you're like, man, this sandwich sucks. And then somebody else said, that's the only thing you got to eat. Other than that, you can eat a plate of shit and they actually take a plate of shit and put it in front of you. Let's just say that sandwich looks a hell of a lot more good now. You're like, you know what? I think I'll stick with the sandwich. <laughs> Templar Temple, four ninety nine. Thank you, dude. Damn, look at Alpha of the Day right there, boys. Would it be worth it to make a YouTube channel and give my thoughts on media and the downfall of masculinity? Absolutely. Absolutely. I will give you a tip, though. You could take it from a, a, a dying YouTube channeler. <laughs> Is this. If you decide to do these things, if you actually want to make it and you want to grow your channel, the biggest key is to remain consistent. Eventually, your consistency will be rewarded. If you make like one video a month, you're going to see like zero views because YouTube will just punish you for it. But I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. You make those videos, I'll react to them. You react to my reactions and it's an infinite money loop. Do you guys see how this goes? So if like, let's say 20 of you right now make YouTube videos and I react to all of them and then all of you react to me, do you see how this works? See, infinite money glitch. Did obviously, I still would never consider this to be Lara Croft, but she was still a likable character, and I do like the character. Just not, she's just not Lara Croft, and she doesn't uh, have the Lara Croft look or personality. She doesn't even um, look like Lara I mean, Croft. Just, just some slight little facets of it that they did make. But anyway, staying on point here, the point of Sam and being in Lara Croft's life on this, and being her friend on here, and their dynamic was that Sam bounced off of Lara because Lara Croft is a very introverted loner type and they wanted to because uh, I would describe Lara Croft as a failed woman because she rejected marriage went off to go do her own little adventures is husbandless and childless so Lara Croft by default is a failed woman 
as Crystal Dynamics can't come up with an original idea to save their lives, they have to mimic something else. And in this case, it was Uncharted for the 2013 reboots, uh, reboot trilogy. And what did Uncharted do? It had characters bouncing off each other, a lot of dialogue and stuff like that. They couldn't, they didn't have what it takes and they didn't have the talent to create a solo adventure for Lara Croft where they weren't relying on heavy narrative um, to, you know, they, they didn't have what it takes to carry the game with actual gameplay and tomb raiding and puzzles and so on and so forth. So instead they did more of an action game with optional tombs and heavy narrative and an emotional story and all of that. Wait, then so what about Bayonetta? Have you seen her daughter? I have not seen Bayonetta's daughter. Uh, and uh, who's the father? Does she even know? And in, 2013, they did actually make her want to go do things alone sometimes. So they at least made a semblance of an You're right, Dexterell. At that point. This is You're when they right. wanted to convince us that, hey, we're going to make her the Tomb Raider, and this is how they bamboozled us. Because it was like, okay, you know, I can see how possibly they could turn her into Lara Luca Croft in their own the way. Granted, Damn, she he wasn't climbed up on Bayonetta? Like 16-year-old Lara Croft, because the excuse was always, well, she's younger, but she wasn't like 16-year-old Lara Croft in uh, Tomb Raider Last Revelation, who always had that same personality. She didn't transform her personality and become a different person. Um, she obviously went through character development and growth, but she was still the same person and had many of her same characteristics. So in this case, I was like, okay, Okay, they'll make it happen but they didn't so you have this more uh i digress so you have this more introverted character and then you have her a very extroverted best friend very blatantly put out there that this is the best friend of hers there was like someone on the comics he tried to <coughs> get make them kiss and that got shut down um after the game of already course. came out and all that stuff and then of like course. now people oh but you know they always well this is so lesbian coded blah 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 because for some reason these like what was that uh that one meme all women are bi. You just need to figure out if it's bipolar or bisexual. Porn brains cannot fathom people having friends. So uh, without wanting to do the nasty with them. So that's all they think about. They're really gross in that way. So uh, something that is extremely normal, which is two girls uh, being friends, uh, they have to provide. I hate so when anyway, people overuse yeah, introvert. So you take this more like oh, bubbly shit. outgoing. And then you have like someone who's a bit more tough, introverted. Granted, my gosh, she cried. Wait, K-S-I-A, Kasai, I don't know, I'm probably just going to butcher your name, or maybe it's something else. Expand on that a little bit more. How do you, how do you feel that that should be used? A lot, but still, she still was more get her hands dirty than Sam was like the party girl. There's even a, which I'll get to more into that in a little bit. So anyway, they take her, you know, cute, little bubbly extrovert, and turn her into this, which she looks mad, <laughs> and she's got a gigantic back. Like, her back is huge what is going on it's like <laughs> what is this so they made her gain like 60 pounds so anyway like now all of this stuff coming out it's got a bunch of people Who the hell all is this? of these like p newbies that hijacked that, that try to hijack the fandom that all oh but she the was always a lesbian but she was other one obviously that wasn't the case um i said weirdos have always tried to retcon even 2013 because here's the thing I, i'm not dude <laughs> i'm not gonna i don't i don't know what this is okay why does this look like this would be like some dude that like inserted himself into the game? He's like, oh, she's going to kiss me now. I, I don't know why, but that's the first thing that popped in my head. They always want to pretend like Lara Croft. Oh, but she always could have been into girls too. Blah, blah, blah. She never was. She was engaged to a man in the original lore. And it's the act man. Oh, shit. With men in the original timelines. Um, Granted, I always was a fan of what the the mainline games did for the first six, which well, they weren't going to give her a romantic interest at all because she decided to forego that for a life of adventure instead. And she was very like obsessed and almost socio, I mean, not even almost, she was sociopathic about her adventuring and stuff. So I liked that angle and I never really, the only time I was okay with them giving Lara Croft a love interest was when Tomb Raider Angel Darkness came out. Now, before it came out, I saw Curtis Trent and I was like, oh no, they better not. Like when they've had him in the trailers and stuff, I was thinking they better not try that. But then I actually played the game once it came out and um when i fun fact about that too i was the first person in the online community online tomb raider community that we were there who beat tomb raider angel darkness and i had to write a guide on part of you know what i, I what, what kind of makes me laugh about this is like how this kind of went from making a point to now like rambling I don't mind it. I mean, it's still on topic overall. We're still talking about Tomb Raider. But, like, the cadence of her voice change. And then it just sounds like, you know, like when two women get together and they're just talking. I swear, that's what it sounds like. Like, maybe you're at the mall and you just see two girls, like, sitting by the side. And like, oh, yeah. And so, like, you know, the other day. And then, like, it's like it, it went immediately into that cadence. 
the cadence changed. It went from like, so this is interesting and this and this, and and then it just immediately turned into like that that yapping. Maybe because it's so because of the bugs and stuff, and people didn't didn't know how to progress. But anyway, let's, let me not let. That's neither here nor there. Let me not uh, brag there. So anyway, they say, oh, okay, well, whatever. At least they want to pretend like 2013 reboot Lara Croft was always gay coded, though. She was always a lesbian. That's the angle they want to pretend. Yeah, the custodians but were always female. When you actually play the game, you know, which I have multiple times, you know, I criticize the heck out of it, but at least I put my money where my mouth is and I've played the game so freaking much, obviously more than these weirdos. So weirdos also always try, are always try to retcon 2013 Lara Croft as a lesbian because she had a girl best friend. Meanwhile, the actual game and here she is killing or killing kissing killing. Alex. Now this is a character who was aboard the endurance with her. He had a crush on her. She discovers this and he's in a situation. I swear, dude, who's the programmer? Who's the director? Does he look like this? I swear, man, this, this seriously is so, it feels random. Like this feels too much like of a more realistic face that you would see at like one of these developing studios. <laughs> where he's about to die and she kisses him on the cheek you know and i didn't even have a problem with this uh i even felt like it was within lara's character to do uh even even classic lara croft i felt like it was within her character to do because she's still and especially in this kind of situation like dude's about to die there it was just this uh i, I found this to be a sweet gesture in the game this is actually a moment in the game that i liked um i was like oh well that's sweet uh but i could see lara croft doing that uh but anyway so there's that and they want to put but, but Sam, but Lara and Sam, but they, they called each other sweetie. Yeah, as girls do sometimes. It's just like, bro, it was a very, and so then of, of course I have to go educate these people who pretend like they're reboot fans, even though they don't even play the games. It's like, there's even a document in the game where Sam is talking about trying to get Lara Croft out of her uh, comfort zone. I like how I, I'm seeing a comment down below and it says, so she's bisexual like most women. Shut up. To go to bring her to clubs and, and to Lara Croft's surprise, they ran into a bunch of cute boys. But they still want to pretend, oh, no, no, she's a lesbian. Here's the thing is because they're a bunch of narcissists and narcissists don't have their own personality. They have to create one. So then they build their whole identity around something. And in this case, these narcissists have built their whole identity around all this queer ideology, which is from Satan. And they need to get out of it. They need to. They need uh, to. I, I think what it is is like you have people that are living in sin and they deep down inside, no pun intended, uh, they understand it. I think you can feel that sickness, right? Yo, how shall 10 bucks? Thank you, my good man. What did I miss? You missed all of it, dude. I'll catch you later, dude. I'm just joking. Thank you, dude. But well, I was going to get back to this real quick. I think these people feel that, that sickness deep down inside and they understand what they're doing is wrong. And this is why they constantly look for validation externally. Because if you look internally, you don't like what you see. You don't like what you feel. And so it's like, let's turn that off and let's look for an external validation because I need somebody to tell me that my decisions are good. And it's like, no, you're not going to find it externally either unless you go into like your little echo chambers. How Shaw, alpha of the day. Thank you, my good man. I greatly appreciate it. Find Jesus and be redeemed and be saved. That's what I want for them. I don't want them in this stuff because that's not good for them. So, you know, even though they're ruining everything call it and a conscience. being right now, I still hope for the best for them. And the best for them would be get to get out of that. So anyway, they do that. They build their whole identity around queer ideology because they have mental, either a mental problem or uh, narcissism, right? And Yeah, it's probably a spiritual problem. And because of that, they want to see that in everything. They can't fathom being a uh, fan of something. Gamza, the only thing uh, a fan I believe of in science. The spirit so doesn't exist. They can't <laughs> like something unless they insert themselves into it. And so they can't. That's why they're constantly trying to insert all of this queer stuff into Tomb Raider because they can't like something unless they are a part of it. And they don't. They can't grasp the fact that here we have Kala here, a man who loves. David says Ray Palpatine versus Fem Stodes. Who wins? Ray's going to win. Ray is a Jedi master with no training. The Femme Stodies actually had to be trained and transitioned into that abomination. Ray was born a winner. And plus, have you seen the size of her forehead? Woo! That's impressive. Flyer Croft. She got the brain. And then people will tell me, I get this all the time, People even tell me, well, why are you complaining about how reboot Lara Croft looks and how she doesn't look like classic Lara Croft, but she looks more like you, though. But reboot Lara looks like you. I've heard. Gams of science capture the ghost. Out, have like, you seen I, Ghostbusters? I, I, my friends <laughs> texted me, oh my gosh, she looks like you. I have people tell me that, which 
there's that like similar silhouette, height, body type, all that kind of stuff, facial features or whatever. I can see that, but they can't fathom that I don't want her to look like that. I don't want her to look more like me. Like, and they don't get that because they're so, all they know is narcissism. Like, no, you know what? I don't want them to try to make Lara Croft look more like me. Out of all the Lara Crofts, I would look the most like 2013 version, but I don't want Lara Croft to look like more mostly like me, more like me. I want. I think Lara Croft should look more like me. Actually, fit the role of what she's doing. You know what I'm saying? She's doing a man's job. She should look like a man. Lara Croft. What's up? Upright. Good to see you, dude. Classic form, which I don't look anything like this. But this is what I want her to look like because this is Lara Croft, and because I don't have to see myself in something to like it as a matter of fact i'd rather not see myself in something good night I would zia just play I, I get to see myself in real life man see too much of myself dead gummit all right so um anyway then you have what an announced and revealed sneak peek what of their underworld statue print? they're working on what the hell is this? Which, if you know you know underworld lara croft was like very feminine looking very a lot more like classic features and all that kind of stuff but of course just i mean we don't have a paint yet but that's very much a man face look uh yeah. so i even compare it i say look you know, it's looking like the, the man face, the Leon Kennedy they always looking, give them like androgynous, kind of grimace like um, look on their face, gender ambiguous looking Lara Croft that they're trying to push. So I think, and given the fact that she has a braid and uh, seemingly Lara Croft there, is worse uh, Indiana Jones. Like well, yeah, it's more, it's more so they're unified Lara Croft than actual Tomb Raider Underworld Lara Croft because this doesn't look like Underworld Lara. Uh, there's just sharks and she's this just looks like an STL file that you would get off of like underworld Lara Croft anyway cult three so oh also I posted this today <laughs> I said whoa Netflix's Tomb Raider has an actual lesbian scene <laughs> <laughs> now here's the True. thing about this stuff beat is the shit this, at her like these fake fans these newcomers they did the same like you know they did the same shit with like I, I it's so annoying they did the same stuff with like Vi Vi League of Legends. The second, I remember one of my friends was like, hey, they have like a new show, Arcane. And I was like, let me guess. Vi and Caitlyn are lesbian. And that's exactly what they, I was like, I knew it. I knew, I knew exactly that they were going in this stupid ass direction. The second they announced this, I was like, let me guess, lesbo, right? Like, this is what, a better idea of like what Vi looked like, right? Not a bad looking character. I think the character looked pretty cool. And this is what they turned her into. Right? They they had to go more with like the wider jaw, more manly. Of course, she's out there like boxing and shit. You could just see the difference even in the face shape. The eyes, the eyebrows, just the structure of the face overall. You could just see what they did there. They turned her into your stereotypical dyke. Okay? Let's just be let's just be real here. That's what they did. And it's like, of course you're gonna go in this direction. This is like what they push right here. This shit. Up, oh, can't be found. Let's uh open image and new tab. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, they try to do more shit like this, and it's like, come on, man. Get the like this is way better. This get this stuff out of here. And they they all it's like this generic body type, this generic look that they just give all these female characters. It's just your stereotypical, uh, I'm a fist you dyke. If she ain't fist in the taco, she's fist in the face. You know what I'm saying? You want to retcon, oh, reboot Lara Croft. Stop Lesbian, all this all fisting. That kind of stuff, and they want to just make that up. She's not. It's obvious she's not. She wasn't written that way. It's crazy. It's obvious. We have more. We have so many things to show. You love Arcane Gamza. It's now, League of Legends after something all. something to try to make her lesbian, the show was, I would admit uh, it. And in it this case, okay. You could tell where they started to the shoehorn shit in Like, there. no freaking duh, they tried to make her lesbian. Like you can see that, and I it would, would like the relationship with Camille Roth, who they retconned in there because, according to reboot lore, Roth. That hand looks like she's got carpal tunnel. That hand ain't looking too healthy. Why is it like? It's so like spread. Instead of it being like a fist, or even like this from here, it's like spread. Well, I can't even do that. It looks weird. I didn't have a daughter, unless you count. Uh, with that woman on the endurance crew that he never met her. But he didn't have, and, and she's half, then his daughter would have been half black, so it definitely wouldn't have been Camille. So, supposedly, oh, now she grew up with Camille. Um, yeah, so this wasn't Reyes' daughter. They, they just absolutely love making masculine women. Camille is it. They also, got a full yeah, heart on for it. So none of this makes sense. So anyway, yeah, I'm just getting into Tomb Raider lore here, so I will get a bit 
nerdy with it. But anyway, no, obviously, What's up, MJ? if they want to say, I'm so not going to argue with them that look Netflix, like a Lara man woman, supposed to be pretty much. Lesbian. And they're also like, doing season two for it too. You can, you can flat out tell, which I would recommend watching uh, this video, by the way. So, I mean, <laughs> the writing's on the wall with how they draw her, animate hey, her. go back to that. And then especially with her friend, Camille, it definitely frames it as also this dress, which the queerdos noticed because I didn't. That <laughs> This is the bi flag colors. So anyway, oh yeah, and also this is the writer for the Netflix. I, yeah, I, I don't. They always like to inject their, their colors, too. It's like this weird subliminal messaging and shit. It's like, get this stuff out of here, man. Abomination, so as you can expect. So anyway, yeah, it's they all definitely they can think about. make it look like, yes, Camille here. They definitely try to make it look like, hey, these two were a thing. They broke up. They were really sad and crying about it, blah, blah, blah. But just the way, I mean, they draw her. They, they. <laughs> I hate that artwork, the story, dude. You know, the script. I hate that, like, Castlevania artwork. Like, cause, cause Netflix, it's probably like the same uh, artist or some shit, but like that Castlevania, I cannot stand it. All that kind of stuff. It is very obvious that they try to make her very lesbian like. It always so looks I ain't even, flat, like bland about and that. Yeah, your Netflix, your your Netflix abomination, Lara. Yeah, of course she's queer as heck. It's stupid, but that's not real Lara Croft. So, anyway, yeah. Am I done rambling? Do I have anything else I want to add? I think that's it. No, I think uh, that's oh, about also, it. Also, from what we know, from what they were revealed from season two is, guys, there's going to be sharks, so there might be some shark punching. Ooh. <laughs> so anyway. stupid. Yeah, no, I, I, I can't believe that they're going to go back to a, a second season. As one of you were saying, though, that they, pre they pretty much do that from the get-go. But come on. It doesn't deserve a second season. It didn't even deserve a first one. But you know what? Why don't they make like 10 more seasons and just lose a billion dollars?